Hey guys and girls, I wanted to talk today about hair envy. Maybe you have been a victim of hair envy. I certainly have. A subscriber recently emailed me to ask me a couple of questions about some social situations she has found herself in as a new wig wearer. Her main issue is that she has a good friend who feels it necessary to out her as being a wig wearer every time they are in public or in a social situation together. Uh, this friend just right in the middle of conversation about something else will say, oh my gosh, did you know that Kim is wearing wigs now? Yes, doesn't it look beautiful? And then of course, she, this friend just makes a big deal and goes on and on about it. And Kim, meanwhile, is feeling put on the spot. Um, so now instead of having a nice, fun, social outing with friends, she finds herself in a position of having to explain why she wears a wig. She has to explain where she got the wig. And, and the whole, you know, fun day turns into her and her wig. Her question to me was, why does her friend keep doing this and how can she make it stop? I have a theory. Uh, an individual who repeatedly discloses that you wear a wig usually is attention starved. It's really more about her than it is about you and your wig. Anything that enhances you and diminishes how the other person feels about themselves, and in many cases, the other person is already very insecure. So it's either they're starved for attention or they're self-loathing. In any case, you have to accept that it's not about you, it's about them. You know, wigs solve problems. A wig will solve a problem for a woman or a man who has hair loss. It could be medical hair loss due to chemotherapy. It could be due to alopecia. It could be due to a medicine that you take where the side effect is losing your hair. Well, because a wig solves a problem, there are some individuals that don't like that. They like drama and they don't want your problems to be solved. So they wanna just create a new problem for you because you have solved a problem in your life and you are happier. I, I know that sounds crazy, but there are people who love misery and they wanna share it with you, but you don't have to play along. What I would do the next time this woman decides to out you at a social gathering is just smile and shake your head and just look exasperated and say, I'm sorry, everyone. Sheila feels the need to point out that I am wearing a wig every single time we are in public together because she has a bad case of hair envy. Now, <laughs> this is going to produce a couple of different responses. Sheila is going to seem like, no, I don't, probably. And most of them are going to be very amused. And that's a good thing. You know, you want it to be lighthearted. Sheila, on the other hand, may be taken aback because now instead of wig shaming you, the you've kind of turned the tables and now she's sitting there having to explain why she has hair envy. So this would be my solution. You may also come across a person who says, well, you shouldn't wear alternative hair. It's not natural. It's not the real you. Sometimes it's family. You know, a family member may say to you, I just don't like that wig. I, I just don't like you in wigs. I would prefer you with your natural hair. So your reply to that would be, I'm an adult and I make this wig look good. So I wear it because I can. There's no comeback to that. I mean, you've asserted yourself as a confident woman 
who has made a choice and you look your best, the end. Happy, confident, successful people do not go out of their way to make their friends, family, co-workers, neighbors feel belittled or less than. They don't go out of their way to embarrass or shame anyone. So just keep that in mind, okay? It's not about you. So go forward in life wearing your alternative hair with great confidence because the only person that matters in this equation is you and what you're happy with. And as an adult, you get to decide what fashion you wear, what hair you wear, what makeup you wear, how you conduct your life. So make decisions based on what makes you happy, not based on the opinions of others. I'd love to hear your comments and your experiences. Please share those in the comments section below the video. Any advice you share could change someone's life today. Well, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.